Much of what the world has seen of the Arab uprisings this past year has come from the people living through them. These citizen journalists help to spread the word and images of the protests. In Yemen, from an apartment near Sana'a's Change Square, Nadia Abdullah watched the demonstrations unfold. My father gave me a camera and told me, this is in case there's any attack on youth. You film it, and then we can send it to the media channels. Even documenting the unrest from home was a big step, she says, for her conservative father. I didn't imagine that my father, brother, or the family would accept that I go out and do an interview on camera. This was almost impossible to do because of the norms and traditions. They're closed and conservative conditions. It's not proper for a woman to appear in public. Inspired by the revolution below her window, she did go out, eventually with her father's blessing. The revolution, she says, changed everything. I followed news when it happened and shot what is happening in the squares of conferences, forums, demonstrations, inside or outside. She documented the crackdown by government troops. The bullet went through his head and he became a martyr. This was a very difficult situation. When one of the youth dies in front of my eyes, it really affected me. She captured heartbreaking grief, but also quieter moments, both in video and still photos. I took this photo on the 27th of Ramadan during prayers. Abdullah says she was determined to show the true face of protesters the government labeled thugs. With a camera and a picture, you can silence anyone. You show them a live video and they cannot speak. Ultimately, the protesters and the citizen journalists who told their story helped to topple the nation's longtime ruler. For Nadia, now pursuing a journalism career, they brought down barriers for Yemeni women as well. Elizabeth Arrett, VOA News, Sana'a.